In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure and cut stair stringers coming up right now. Hey everybody, Rudy here from the Home Improvement Channel with another video helping you fix things around the house. Today I'm going to be showing you how to measure and cut your stair stringers for your deck or whatever. Um, I'm not really going to show you how to attach the stair stringers or build the rails or anything like that because different codes are different and different applications are different so it wouldn't really do me any good. But uh, measuring and cutting stair stringers is pretty much the same across the board. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Wanted to show it that we're figuring out the height that we're dealing with. You want to extend it out to where you think it's going to be and make sure that the level is level. Get that level level. It's good if you have a helper kind of helping you to see where the level is at. Then so you're going to set it right there so you know what the height is you're dealing with. And then after that, you're going to want to figure out, you got that height of 73, so you need to be less than 8 inches on each step. So you're going to want to go with 10 steps, 10 risers, because each riser is going to be 7.3 inches. That's going to work out to be under 8 inches. We got 9.5 across each step because we got 3 quarters of a riser cover and then three quarters of overhang. The boards on top are 11, so we're taking off an inch and a half or nine and a half on each one. And then of course the height is our 7.3, so do that on every one. All right, to get these uh, figured out, you're gonna wanna go on the first step. You're gonna start, we got our 7.3. I'm just going 1 uh, 16th past a quarter, that's gonna be close enough in my case, and then I'm angling it to 9.5. So that'll give you the angle across the first, this is this is the first step right here. All right, so then after you get that first step established, um, draw yourself a line straight across here. That way you can cut this right across here. This part is trash, but this part here is going to be the part that's going to go up against the deck or the house or whatever. So then just keep doing that again. I'm cutting nine of these. We had ten total, remember, but the tenth one is going to be on the uh, brick, so I only need nine. But if you want to put ten there, then, and then your first step is level with the deck, you can do that too. But in my case, I'm not going to do that. So just keep doing the same thing. 7.3, 9.5. Do that all the way down until you get 9, and then I'll show you how to close it off when you get to the end. All right, we're back. And I uh, just wanted to mention, I didn't mention it earlier, that this space here between, you know, where, the, where you cut the stairs out, it should be at least 5 inches deep. That's why you got to use a 2 by 12 So let's check that. So we're good. It's almost six. Uh, so just keep, that's why you don't use a two by 10 on this because that needs to be five inches right there for it to maintain the uh, strength that it needs. But we have our nine steps right here. This is number nine on the bottom. So all you do is uh, flip your square over like that. Get it lined up with that, uh, cross that angle like that. And draw a line here. And then remember, our height was uh, 7.3. So do the same thing. Flip the square over again and line it up on your line that you just made. That way everything maintains 90 degrees. And just draw that line across there, just like so. This wood is kind of wet, so I'm having to mark it 20 times. One thing that I like to do is I like to put a board on the bottom here. And this way, if I cut this notch out, I'll have 
a place to put a board across the bottom of all the stringers and that way it'll hold them together at the bottom. So just draw that, you know, make a pattern there. Just like that and cut that notch out, that way you can uh, add that 2x4 in there later. Usually what I like to do before I go through all the trouble of cutting these all out is now that I've got the angles and the length is set, I'm going to test fit it and make sure it fits. All right, well, now that we've established that it fits, we're going to go ahead and cut out the rest of the stairs. All right, once you get that puppy all uh, cut out of there, you're going to want to use that one for the master. That way you don't have to do all those measurements all over again. And it's best to, uh, to mark this with an M. I can be Agent M for master, or PAT for pattern, anything like that. And if you want to make it good, you can crown the boards. And um, what, I would, what I would do is crown going up this way like this so if you make sure they're all the same you won't get one up and one down and one up you know what I mean uh, it's just gonna look better if you keep them all the same uh, so we're just gonna trace this out and then we're gonna cut out all three of them and I'll come back in a little while yeah, if you're wondering what this uh, notch was for on the bottom that's what I was that's what I meant right there uh, it kind of gives it something solid to sit across on the bottom and it also gives something for your bottom riser cover to uh, screw to and um, I just put that one up there as a temporary to keep it all together and uh, stable and then we're going to take the whole thing and roll it over and set it on the uh, on the house there Yeah, just like that. I'll figure out exactly where it goes and uh, go from there. That's about it, guys. That's how you measure and cut the uh, stair stringers. Uh, my video is not about how to attach the stringers or do the rails or anything like that. Uh, that's just going to be up to you and the codes in your area. Uh, but there is one last thing I did want to show you about uh, once you do get these attached that you should do before um, attaching all the stair treads. And let me show you real quick. You're going to want to just make sure that the, uh, the stairs are square coming off of the house. So if you have a helper, that's great. Have them put, put one on a point right there and just uh, check the, from one corner to the other. And then do the same thing to the other corner. Make sure that these numbers are about equal. 
they're not perfect, it's fine. Within a quarter of an inch is good enough. And uh, there you go. Just check it like that and then scoot it around however you need to to make sure that it's uh, in the right spot. If you enjoyed this video, click on that like button and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.